Hey friends, it's Cassie, and I just wanted to show you really quickly TPT's newest of the easel tools. And this is a tool that works sort of like Google Forms. It lets you create your own self-checking questions, and then you can assign it to your students in Google Classroom and check back their work. So I'm gonna show you really quickly, just a real quick overview of easel assessments. So just click under your account and go to my easel activities. And then we're gonna click up here where it says my assessments. So once I click it, I can click create an assessment. Now this is still in beta, so you may not have access to it quite yet. Um, and if you don't, just rest assured that it's coming and it'll be here really quickly. So just click on create an assignment and this is all it is. It's really simple right now, but that makes it really easy to create and to use. Later, they will be adding more features and functions to it. So all I'm gonna use is pictures of task cards that I already have. I, I just took a screenshot and saved them as an image and I have a file of them. So my first question, I'm just gonna click on add an image and I am going to go into my file folder and just start with slide number one and upload it. So just to make it quick for my answer choices, I'm just gonna have it correspond with the answer choices that are on here. To mark your right answer, you're just gonna click which one is right. So that's it. Now I can add another one. So for question number two, I'll add my image, go back into my folder. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my answer choices. It's really quick. And uh, let's see, I think it was B and then you'll continue this way. So I'm gonna press pause and finish doing a few more so I can show you what it looks like as a student. Okay, so I'm back. I made four cards. Um, let's see, oh, forgot to write that. So it will prompt you if you didn't quite do it all the way right. So there are a couple of different options. You can view it as a student first or you can just go into assigning it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's gonna look like if you're a student. So notice that I forgot to give it a title. Um, that's really easy to do that and I'll show you in just a second. But the student will just press start and the questions will populate one by one. So either they'll get the question right or they'll get it wrong, but it will let them know if it's right or wrong. So let me get the next one wrong so you can see what, um, I think that one's wrong. Okay, and so you can see right here, it lets you know if it's correct or incorrect. So let's go ahead and do the rest of them so you can see what it looks like when the students are finished with all of their work. Okay, so finished them all, and now I'm just going to click Finish and then the students will get this little message showing them their results. It also will send it to you, but you could have them screenshot it and put it in a Google Slides or something like that too. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like on the student's end. So here is where you would title it, which I forgot to do, so I'm just going to call it Benchmark Fractions. Okay, and then to assign it, it's also just as easy. Just click Assign. And then you are going to invite students. So if you have multiple classes, like a morning class and an afternoon class, you would just click create a new code. So you would have two codes and you would invite students to those two different codes. So what? So let's say this is my first, my morning class. You just click invite students and you will either get a link that you can share with them through an email or through some other flat platform, or you can just share it straight on Google Classroom. So I'm gonna put it to that class, create an assignment, and go through all of the regular things that you normally would do whenever you're creating an, um, a different assignment in Google Classroom. And then just click Assign, and that's it. So the students, it will be in your students' classroom and then they can work on it and then you come right back into here to see it. So this is just a really quick overview to see, to see, just to show you kind of the bones of what this is, but I think it's something that you could use and what makes it really awesome is that you can use it with your own resources, your own materials, you can make your own self-checking things. And I actually think that it's a lot quicker to do this on TPT easel assessments than even on Google Forms. So if you have any questions, just feel free to um, ask. Bye.